Welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to the third episode of the Diva Look series. As you can see, the color for today is blue and I have done this eye look and this is going to be a tutorial for the same. And honestly, I love how this look has turned out. This color looks really good. This is an eye look and that I've done something for the first time. So I've experimented a bit and I love it because I feel like makeup is that, you know, you can experiment with all the colors and there's no boundaries. You can be as creative as you like, you can be as subtle or as crazy as you want. And as long as you get the technique right. And I am really happy with this look. So if you want to see how I got this look, then please keep on watching and don't forget to watch the previous two episodes of this series as well it would mean a lot and hit that subscribe button as well before you go all right uh, so i have done my base already i have used the farsali unicorn essence and um the huda beauty four filter foundation on top so let's jump right into the eyeshadow okay so i'm gonna start with my crease and i'm just going to use a brown uh, this is a bronzer this is the hula caramel bronzer by benefit and I think it's a nice uh, crease shade a nice transition shade just gonna take a blending brush dust off the excess and start working with it in my crease Just with a light hand, gonna build that up. I'm gonna take the K Beauty Metallic Eyeshadow Stick. It looks something like this. And um, it's a really pretty color. I swatched it earlier when I got it and it's so pretty. I think this is in the shade Navigator. And what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna place that in the lid area just a little bit right there and gonna blend it in with my fingers okay i know it looks hideous right now but uh we are gonna work with it just gonna add a bit more near the crease I'm gonna take that brown shade again because obviously you want that diffuse look also right so I'm just gonna dust the brown over on where the blue ends or starts whatever we obviously need more shimmer in our look right so I'm gonna take the Kiko Milano single eyeshadow this is in the shade smart and I'm just gonna swirl my finger in here take a generous amount oh this is like a very bright blue and just tap it on lightly I still feel like I want to blend some more in the crease so I'm just gonna go in with the bronzer shade again Okay, so this is what it looks like right now and I think everything is quite blended in now. We just use that K-Beauty stick so that this shimmer shadow gets a blue base as well. I mean, like it really reflects off. If we would have used it directly on the lid with a concealer, it wouldn't have been um, very blue because I've used it on its own and which is why I wanted like a very dark blue base for it. And I think, yeah, I'm gonna have, I am happy with the crease now. So, what I'm gonna do is, I think, okay, you as you can see, it's very messy here. The shade, crease shade has gone way up near the brows and there's a little 
bit of a mess here as well so i'm just going to do the cleaning up step on camera just so that you know how it works and um you know like this is not how it's supposed to look you know there is always cleaning up later on required for a lot of the eyeshadow looks because of the fallout the mess or you know sometimes you just take the crease straight too far and we don't want it very close to the eyebrows right we need space between the shadow and the um lid too so i am going to use the wet and wild photo focus concealer and just going to make sure that it's right in the inner corner and then this area as well because it needs to be cleaned up well and then i'm just going to um and then i'm just going to blend it with my plume microfiber velvet sponge As you can see that there was a lot of extra near the inner corner as well so I'm just going to take the concealer there too I'm just quickly going to go over this area Now it looks much better right I feel like it does and I was very careful so as to not get anything on the sponge directly especially like the blue shade Okay so it's all nicely blended in now the concealer and as you can see there's like an instant uh difference in the eye shadow as well because we cleaned it up a bit now with a loose powder you know like I'm going to set the under eye and with this tip i'm going to take a little bit of powder dust it off and then just go over this area too just like a nice sweep can you see that that has made a nice difference just sweeping over this the crease shade is still evident like the brown is still there but everything is else is nicely cleaned up so you can already see how nice this eye shadow looks oh my god i am so <laughs> I let's just say that I spilled a lot of powder um on my floor. It's it's okay we we're going to clean now, that up. I'm just going to quickly do the other eye and be right back for the rest right. of it. So as you can see that both eye shadows both eyes are now done and I think it looks pretty good in terms of how um I've blended it and also in terms of the color payoff. I really feel like using the K by Katrina eyeshadow stick the metallic one the dark blue one that we used really helped um when it comes to applying the shimmer shade on top of it because it is giving like a different kind of vibe so you know you can see that the lighter blue and then there's you can see the darker blue blended in and then the brown so it's like a nice transition happening between the three shades i mean Yeah, you you can apply three, four, five eyeshadow shades, but as long as they're nicely blended in, and it's gonna look amazing. So I I'm really happy with this look. I haven't uh, done something like this before, you know, using a metallic eyeshadow stick and all of that. But let me show you quickly what I mean. So this is how it looks as an individual shade, right? And I'm gonna quickly swatch it here. and you see it's like a very icy blue and on its own it wouldn't it would have looked so pale you know and but now it looks so different on the eye and that's because of the base that we did and yeah i'm really happy just going to add a bit more on the halo halo area i think it looks really pretty Oh yeah, it looks so good. I'm so happy with this look and I'm just going to quickly um quickly walk you through the steps because this is something this kind of an eye shadow procedure is something that I've done for the first time, right? So firstly, I just took the bronzer and slowly started building it, it up. So when when you start working with the bronzer, the Hoola Caramel one, or any bronzer for that matter it's obviously you know you are going to have to use a light hand and start with just one sweep and obviously that time it's going to appear quite uh, lighter and then slowly you're going to build it up as to the kind of intensity that you want till you achieve that intensity 
and then what I did was apply the metallic shade on all over my lid up till my crease didn't go over the crease and then I just lightly tapped it in it you don't really need to blend it in because in the end you're gonna blend it again anyway so that's uh, what I did and then I applied the shimmer shadow with my fingers just on top of this uh, dark blue area and then again with the bronzer I went in with a bronzer and made sure that everything was nicely blended in it's very important to blend in your shadows I cannot stress this enough moving on to the next steps the same bronzer that we used as a transition shade just gonna take this Morphe Y11 Y11 brush tap off the excess and just lightly bronze This bronzer has to be my absolute favorite. If you have to invest in just one bronzer, I think this would be the one. It is literally worth spending all the money that it costs. And as you could see, it worked great as an eyeshadow shade as well. So with bronzer or contour, you have to go in like a three shape. I think that then it looks more, everything looks more put together. It's going to look very weird if you're just going to apply bronzer or contour right here. So there has to be like that, you know, everything needs to be blended in because when it comes to makeup, you're going to apply a lot of products and uh, they need to be blended in well individually, but with each other as well, if you know what I mean. I think that's it with the bronzer just gonna take a little bit on the nose as well we don't want to leave the nose out yeah I think it looks pretty good now I'm gonna be using the Colourpop um, super shock cheek matte in the shade between the sheets looks like this another pretty pretty shade and I'm just gonna use my finger to pick some of that product up it's like a nice you know sort of a pale pink very light pink as you can see but it's very pretty I don't want the blush to be too much for this look just gonna blend that in with my fingers And as you know, I like applying blush a little bit on my nose, so just gonna do that. Yeah, I think I'm pretty happy with how this looks right now. I am gonna go in with a very light shade. If you want, you can obviously opt for a darker shade. But um, I'm still actually quite confused, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm just gonna start with a light shade and um, if I don't like it, I'm gonna switch it up. So I'm using the MAC mini lipstick retro matte in the shade world this is like a very beautiful nude shade okay yeah i think i'm quite happy with the shade because we're still having all the focus on our eye look so yeah i think this looks very good and no i have not forgotten the highlighter i probably should have applied it before but I think I was too excited to see which lipstick I'm gonna choose. Okay, so for highlighter, I've got the Becca Champagne Pop. My trusty. Just the usual areas. So pretty, so pretty. All right, uh, if you're wearing um, an outfit that is revealing your collarbones, then don't hesitate to apply some highlighter there as well. It looks really pretty, it gives you a nice glow. And you know, if your outfit is uh, like that, then you can apply some on your shoulder as well. It looks really pretty. And okay. So I've um, purposely left out the brows for now. So I'm quickly gonna do my 
brows and my mascara and I'll be right here uh, to show you the so final look. I am back with the finished look as you can see I did my brows I did a little bindi with a blue eyeliner that I had I popped on some lashes and I really um, like with a kajal and the brown uh, shade as in the bronzer I did my lower lash line and I added a little bit of gloss on top of that shade as well and I am all ready I really love how this look has turned out and yeah I mean I think it's very easy to do and I've definitely talked through each step um, clearly so I feel like um, you know it's gonna be easy to recreate as well and it's not just necessary to use these exact colors you can obviously uh, use these same techniques but with different colors that would work absolutely amazingly as well but yeah i am so happy with this look and i really hope you like it as well okay so just for this series since i want to focus on the color theme i just used to do the color parts of the um, makeup on camera and then rest of my face off camera but it was just for this series because I wanted to focus on the color mainly and how we can bring that in multiple ways in the look so that's what I was trying to do and which is why I was not uh, I didn't show my how I do my base I just show it for one video I think but for the rest of the videos I try to keep my tutorials as detailed as possible and if you want to see all of that then you can definitely go check out my Instagram I have done a whole series about makeup basics there where I talk about the techniques of everything right from your base to eyeshadow highlighter bronzer everything everything so I think you'll really like that if you're just beginning with your makeup journey. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel because yeah, I mean, I'm going to post here a lot on YouTube because I'm really enjoying it and I will see you soon. Please do stay tuned for the next and the last color of the series. Bye.